What's going on, guys? Fully here from Custom Offsets. Custom Offsets TV on YouTube with Micah from the Sea Boys. What's up, guys? And they do a little bit of everything on their channel, all like power sports, boating, mm -hmm. just like hanging out and having a good time, which kind of makes me a little bit jealous. I kind of want that job. Uh, so we're doing another episode of This or That. We're taking your questions from the comments, and then we can answer them for you. So I figured we might as well throw uh, one of their guys in there for this. So Keaton, it's all you. All right, first question. Clean OBS 1988 to 1998. K1500 or clean square body to build. And then he has 1973 to 1987. I think I would go with the older option. I don't like that uh, the like early 90s Silverados are not like my cup of tea. Uh, so I guess I'd go with the older mm. ones. I don't really have a lot of. I like the square bodies a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I do. So that was what I would go with. Yeah, I don't really have like a lot of preference on either one of those, but if I had to pick. Mm -hmm. Come and swapped diesel Prius or oh, man. 4.2 liter V6 in an eight inch lifted truck. Ugh. That's tough, I don't even know. Yeah, I was like, I'd take the truck because I just, I would. The At Prius least you is, can still use that it. That was a I roller guess. coaster of, of emotions. Of took me modifications. Um, Man, I guess I'd go with the lifted truck. It's gonna be very slow. Yeah. But at least you can still use it and it's still gonna look good. Yep. It doesn't matter if you put a Cummins in a Prius. It's still a Prius. Still a Prius, exactly. This one's a little different. You have a hundred grand, build one show truck or multiple cheaper ones. Oh, that's easy for me, multiple cheaper ones. Like I'm, I've always been like, rather than having one really expensive toy, I'd rather have my nice daily driver, a race car, a jet ski, a boat, like all these other like things. So you can do more than one thing versus if you just have one really expensive thing. I don't know. I'd rather have diversity. This is a hundred thousand just for the build. I would build two trucks. Exactly two. two. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Two trucks, not just one. And then show two completely different personalities in those trucks. Like one fast and one lifted, or? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Some twin turb skis, Cletus McFarlane. Yep. 1966 Ford Bronco or 2020 Ford Bronco? Mm. If the 2020 Ford Bronco comes out as the like cool rendering, yep. the really boxy, big, off-road type looking one, then the 2020. If the 2020 Bronco comes out like the Blazer, where they like completely no ruined it and yeah. made it a crossover SUV, yeah. then I guess I'd take the old one. That is pretty much my opinion too. Yeah, I would take the new one as long as it looks cool. As yeah. long as it's on par. I'm for surprised that, it's for that taken rendered. for Same. so long to Same. do it. Because like the Blazer's out. Like people are buying yeah. it. They're driving yeah. it around. Exactly. So where's the Bronco? Yep. And I hope they do it right. Same. All white build or murdered out build? Mm. Murdered out. Murdered Out is more of a go-to than an all-white, so it depends on what you're, like, Murdered Out is much more common than all-white, and that sounds dumb to take that route, but definitely Murdered Out. I feel like I'd go with all-white. Like, I love how CO2 looks. We had the red wheels on it, but I think it's gonna look even better now when we put chrome wheels on it. And it's one of those things where, like, you do see a lot of all-black trucks. And it's like by far easier to make an all blacked out truck because mm -hmm. everybody sells some sort of black accessory. But like if you do white, like you gotta get everything custom yeah, painted you guys if you want to paint everything. Yeah, everything. like all the suspension gets powder coated. We had to paint a whole bunch of stuff. So like, I think I would go with white just because it's not as common and I'd want to stand out. But I'd probably throw like a lime green accent on it or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't but know. Not allowed. Dang. <laughs> all white. Chevy 454 SS or OBS Ford Lightning? Hmm. I'm assuming if they're saying OBS Ford Lightning, they mean like the first generation of it, which would be comparable to the 454. Um, I'd want the newer Lightning, but if that's not a choice, I'd actually go with the 454. Yeah, I, well, I'd go, I have always liked SSs and just what they've done in general. So same, I would, I would go that route. I don't know a whole lot about the Ford Lightnings. The, the newer ones are sweet. I would okay. totally get on board with that, but the, the old school Chevy SS trucks are, they're legit. Like, and I like, even like the simple like pinstriping and decal work that they did on them just looked really cool. We actually had a guy that built one that, that then put uh, turbos on it too. He brought it to the shop one day and that thing was sweet. Yeah. 
I do that. Slammed OBS dually or lifted new dually? I'm also not a fan of lowered trucks, but I do like that vision. I, I really love when some someone just makes a ridiculous slam dually, so I'm gonna go yeah. with that. Really? Yeah. I think I would go with the lifted dually, the newer one, just because there aren't a lot of older body style duallys that I like, so I guess appearance-wise I'd go with the newer one, but I have seen some really cool like old school Chevy 3500s, like dropped on air, yeah. and like if you get one of those pulling a trailer with your then lifted truck on it, like I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of that, but like that's goals right yeah. there to get the whole setup. But I guess for this question, I take the newer lifted one. Daily drive CO2 or daily drive Archon 350? So CO2 is the white truck that's getting supercharged. Okay. K350 is the black truck. Okay. Well, right now the CO2 is like not drivable, so it'd be very difficult to daily drive because it's getting torn apart to put a supercharger on it. But if I had to pick one to daily drive, I, th I think I'd go with the Archon F350 because it's a diesel and I could do a lot more with it. Yeah, the, but the, the be F350 fast. is just, it's cooler and I, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's got everything. It's the whole package, but uh, I- It's sort of hard to I compare would, I think to. Seeing the CO2 all ripped apart makes it difficult for me. Yeah. But knowing that there's a, gonna be a whipple on it, I would take that. Yeah. Like that little extra power. That Hopefully. thing's gonna scoot. Yeah. And you just can't be the noise a supercharger makes. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if I had the F-350, I'd probably like throw a bigger turbo on there and just like go balls to the walls go. with boost. Yeah. But yeah, CO2, F-350. We're gonna fight later in the parking yeah. lot, three o'clock with flight goal. Would you rather own a rhino sized hamster? <laughs> what? Or a hamster sized rhino? <laughs> so a giant hamster? Or a little small rhino? Yep. I feel like a small rhino might actually be kind of cool. No, definitely. Small rhino. I'm 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 afraid of hamsters, so if they really? decide, uh, yeah, because they bite. You have if you that's have true. like salt on your and fingers. And if you got one that's bite, massive. And then you get one big, it could bite your whole head off. If you had a little rhino, like I feel like it's probably gonna be like that little annoying like yep. animal running around. It's gonna run. But into it's gonna things. be cool. Yep. Imagine walking your little rhino down the street. Like, oh yeah, no, we're just out for a walk, you know, I gotta get some exercise. Yeah, definitely the hamster size rhino. That'd be sweet. You can just pick them up. What's up, buddy? Okay. All right, two completely sides of the, different sides of the spectrum. 850 horsepower Mustang, pro-charged. Or Tesla Model X P100. Ooh. Mustang. Really? Yeah. Have you driven a Tesla? Because I haven't driven a Tesla. Oh. So, yeah. So Tesla actually gave me a press car, a Model S P100D, okay. for three days. And that it's insane. So, so it is insane. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Like ludicrous mode and then just poo, hammer down. But you miss the sound of like, exactly. so a Mustang with a Pro Charger mm -hmm. sounds awesome. And like for the longest time, I was like, no. Gasoline is like the way to go, and electric is not mm -hmm. the future. And you can't beat shifting your own gears. But then, like you get in a Tesla, and you experience the like the linear power that just keeps going and There's going and going. Yeah. And I'm doing an undisclosed speed on Highway 41, which would allegedly be 155 miles an hour, uh, and you just keep going forever. It's insane. Yeah. Okay. Fair which enough. we have. We'll give you a ride in Tesla tomorrow. Okay. Because I've yeah, I've never been in one. I, you know, I've seen tons of videos. Uh, we got a guy I'm with not, a Model X. So. Okay, perfect. I'm not one of the guys to be like petrol, petrol, gasoline, but that's where I'm at. We'll give you a ride. We'll see if we can change good. your mind. Yeah. Go. Clapped out Raptor, but still gets you day to day. You're not gonna have any problems. It'll get you there. It'll get you home, right? At the end of the day, and you can drive it all year round. Or like a 2008 base entry level Corvette, pretty sweet. You can throw headers on it, exhaust, whatnot, but you can only drive that in the summer and then in the winter you have to drive a, a Ranger. A little, a little Ranger. <laughs> like, a, like a truck Ranger. Like a 2003 Ranger. 
that's still really bad in the winter. But it's, it's a man here too. It's a man. It's a man. <laughs> wow, that's that's that one heck of a yeah. yeah. No, I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm taking the Corvette and the shitty Ranger. And the, I'm taking the Corvette and the crappy Ranger. I I would probably do the same thing, and then I would argue why can't I drive the Corvette in the winter? Because like I get we have snow here and everything, but I'm gonna be that guy that throws snow yeah, tires on my Corvette. I'm probably gonna put a trailer hitch on it too, and like pull some sleds around, <laughs> like. That would be something I go. would totally do. Winter tires on the Corvette. And like my uh, 2500 HD truck is a stick, which we should probably do some burnouts in later. Mm -hmm. um, so like I got no problem driving the stick Ranger either. So I mean, yeah, I can get down with that. Give a, me the Corvette. A Raptor over 200,000 is tough. Seems risky. It's tough. Especially it's tough. The, bang is driven. Yep. the rattles are real. Yeah. It's been like the first gen ones That's too, why I wouldn't do it. So it rattles rough. so much that I couldn't handle it. I almost bought, like I was looking for a Raptor for the longest time because I thought they were so sweet. But then like the ones I could afford, right, had like 150,000 on it. And I was like, man, I feel like that's kind yeah. of a lot for yeah. a Raptor. Yeah. And then the new ones now are like 90 grand. And I just yeah. don't have 90 grand. that much? If you option them out, yeah. yeah. You can get them for probably like 75. But they are nice. So that's another episode of This or That. Thanks for stopping out. Uh, if you guys have any other questions that you want us to answer, drop them in the comments below so we can get those for you. Otherwise, go check out the Sea Boys. You can probably ask them some questions too. Maybe they'll start doing yeah, something like this. I don't great. know. I don't control it. Peace. <laughs> I don't know. I don't good. control it. That was good.